Uh, so we have mostly finished Glitter Gulch Mine at this point. So now we are back out, getting ready for our next world. I think it was an amusement park? It is indeed. It's over here in the Pine Grove. We explored here briefly earlier. We didn't really take Bruh. much of a look around. Ra Ow! We're just gonna make fun of all the enemy noises. Okay. I'm going to make fun of myself because they keep hitting me. Okay. Oh. <laughs> so we've got the digger tracks. We already looked at this a little bit, but the digger tracks go into a rock that has Kazooie's face on it. Nothing we can what do about that. What are Kazooie rocks? Turn you it's not vandalism if she knows if she owns it. Also, yeah, you're a little quiet. Aren't you? No, I'm not. You're right. Dang. <laughs> what was I thinking? Ow! Stop. You're trying to show off the game. The Are you flume. slouching, Wordsy? I slouch constantly. The flume of doom has mumbo tokens for O's out of order. Flumes are log flumes are rad and also disease center. I hate and love them. <laughs> uh, Is it just because got... like mosquitoes testing in like the the catch pit or? It's also that water is just a good way to transfer disease. It's unfortunate. And there's a lot of people touching a lot of water. Uh, we already talked to Wumba in here earlier, but she. She said last time we came here that she had a special transformation for us. But we need the Mega Globo to get it. The the legendary Mega Globo. Ultra Globo. Like, as Wordsy can attest, part of the reason that pools are chlorinated is it helps, like, stop stuff like that. Yeah. And log flumes are not are not chlorinated. Really? I kind of assumed they would be. Log flume full of Legionnaire's disease. Uh, Most uh, aren't chlorinated. Anyway, speaking of safety code violations, welcome to Witchy World. <laughs> Let's take a look. We've got some signs out here. The management <laughs> accepts no responsibility for the thieving pickpockets that it employs within Witchy World. Anyone who rides all the quality attractions and survives is entitled to join the Witchy World fan club. Current club members, zero. <sighs> We're gonna be the first Witchy World club members! Witchy World theme park is currently closed due to an appalling safety record. Once the authorities have been bribed, we will reopen. Thank you. Just a real action park place. Yeah. I've been, I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos about disasters theme parks, and this all sounds entirely accurate. I am, yeah. I'm so excited for the Defunct Land episode about Witchy World. There's some shit that happened here. Anyways, we opened it, so we can go in. You'd think, like, it'd go one way or another that, like, re amusement parks built with more resources are more... Are either more corrupt or less corrupt, but no, they're all wildly corrupt. Welcome to Witchy World. The management no of Witchy fries. World. The management of Witchy World theme park revents to inform you that no food can be taken off the premises. So there. I thought, you know, I mean, no outside food or drink is pretty common. Not being able to take the food with you is a, is a different twist. You're not allowed to leave. Can't break quarantine with this with this food. It can't be allowed to. It can't be allowed outside of the park. Yeah, it's like you're not being allowed to take produce and across the border. <laughs> Same deal. Uh, this is Mrs. Boggy. It's Boggy's wife back from Freezy Z Peak. Given up on sled racing. <laughs> Just watching TV these days. Man, the jiggle physics. Groggy, Soggy, and Moggy came to Witchy World with their mom. They, I assume that they've been trapped in here since it got closed. 
Why but is Banjo such a small bear? I don't know if they noticed. I don't know. He's just a different kind of bear. Yeah, you know. Earth. He's a honey bear. <laughs> Gotta open up the fast food places. Oh, he's been rumbled. He got rumbled. He's been so rumbled. Ah, got, ah. got these rats all around the place that kind of work the work the place. They, see, they weren't being uh, metaphorical when they called them thieving rats. Yeah, they. Yeah, their name. We're just gonna call them Jim. Their full name is a slur. Yay! Whoa. Danger. One thousand jiggy watts. A lot of jiggy watts. Don't want that. That is a Same lot way. of jiggy watts. <laughs> Let's just say what you will about Witchy World, but at least it's still employing people even when it shut down. That's, that's better yeah. than Disneyland. <laughs> uh, take a chance. Take a chance. Take a chance. Take a chance. Here is one. Here is one uh, of the many attractions, Area Fifty One. What's up, my guy? Oh, it's very nice. <laughs> Yeah, wow. the 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 guys they they have different they wear different outfits depending on the area. Can you imagine going to work and they're like, "All right, here's your mallet. If you see anybody, <laughs> just get, gets the slapping." This guy is this kid's being impudent. Fuck you, kid. <laughs> Love child abuse. Fuck that kid. Everyone knows an amusement park is just a way to take all your money, you know, on overpriced concessions and admission. Crap, but, I believe, uh, you know, if we just give everyone mallets, they just rob you. And really, it's more efficient. Yeah, I believe that one was Groggy, one of Boggy's three children, who we gave, we gave, um, we gave, we gave presents to last time. This time we're hitting them, I guess. Oh, fuck. Now we're doing violence. This game is dark and edgy compared to the original. It has just lots of uh, lots of really stacked ladies. Extremely stacked ladies. This game sure does a lot of jiggle. <laughs> it really, really does. You know, Banjo Kazooie was for the twelve-year-olds. This one's for the fourteen-year-olds. Pretty much. Got a mumbo pad by this big power supply here. Let's take a look at this place. Uh, ah! Ah! Ow! Oh no, these guys are invincible. Oh, it's a, I thought it was a slot machine. It's a cash register. It's like both? A little bit? The... I think it's a it's like an arm slot machine. Yeah, it's a I think dude. it's a one arm oh, band. Okay. Band. Yeah, they so shoot coins oh, that at makes you. Sense. Ooh, the big top. I figured it out. Why is it called that? It's got a big top. So, I think this is the level where I stopped playing this game. Hi, Kanga. You got a job. No hard feelings, right, Conga? Nice. Four <laughs> tickets are required to enter Conga's Big Top. I like the Witchy World logo. It's just a pumpkin with WW on it. It's a good logo, actually. I like that. It's pretty cool. <laughs> it's pretty cool, pretty cool. Well, we're gonna have to find some tickets before we can actually get to see the big show. Actually, ever since he uh, quit the WWE, he's just Paul White again. <laughs> <laughs> Big Al's Burgers, 100% meat of rodent origin, topped with a synthetic cheese slice. Awful. Uh, hey, Big Al. Um... Yeah, bit, hmm. Really textured that, that mucus coming out of his nose there. Delicious, delicious texture mucus. Just sneezing right on there. 
I'll take a burger, please. It's just like Wendy's. Yeah. That's not fair. Other Wendy's can be fine. <laughs> Other it's Wendy's. Like... Just your Wendy's. It's the, the one Wendy's I used to live by when I lived in the, the, the New England. There was a very bad Wendy's. Oh no. Yeah, I, I'll never forget the day I walked into a Wendy's and a man straight up was like, ah, a rat, and with a spatula in hand, he bent down and slapped the ground. Uh, <laughs> and, and then, I don't know what's better, if he hit the rat or if he didn't hit the rat. I didn't take time to look. We got, we got burger. How about some fries? Salty Joe's Fries, the taste-free, greasy alternative to a decent meal. Taste-free. It's closed, but hey. <laughs> Hello, Salty Joe. You seem a little salty. Oh, man. Try something, will ya? <laughs> Give me them fries. Listen. I will limp, limp salty fries. Are sounds the, good. They're the best kind. I will this <laughs> Listen. I I like my fries to have the crunch to them. Crunchy like fries crunchy, are fine. I like crunchy fries probably better, but there's something to say about those fries that are just limp from grease. Listen, as a as a person who has grown up with Dick's drive-in Limp salty fries are the best kind, and I cannot, I will not stand for the kind of slander that they are receiving in this game. Cannot. Simply can't. What's up, my guy? How you doing? We need anything? Hey, buddy. Yeah, quite a lot, actually. Give me. need a ton of stuff. Give me that honey. Give me that honey. All right. Let How did you mean banjo kazooies? We've got our concessions. We've got our fries. Let's. We can't get into the big top yet, so let's just take a look around. Let's get on top of the big top. Maybe there's a way in from there. Let's let the camera work with me here here for a little bit. Maybe, maybe a little bit. Maybe just like pretty please. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Are we doing something intended? Because it sure doesn't feel like it. No, you are supposed to be able to walk up these. Yeah. You just gotta be very... Very... You just gotta be very cautious so about I said, it. This is where I stopped playing the game. This is part of the reason. <laughs> um, I, I, I was but a young words at a time, and I was not great at video go. games, and that annoyed me. Um, the other part... Um... Jim Joe, we've... The yellow Jim Joe family is complete! The other part is inside. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hey, what's this? I don't know. No move. These are split up pads? What do you mean by that, Mr. Sir? Wait a minute. Are you Bree? telling me that I can be Banjo and or Kazooie? Gah huh? Welcome. What is this business? What is this business, Jam Jars? I demand to know. <laughs> the sequel to Banjo Kazooie. <laughs> Banjo and or Kazooie. That's the one. <laughs> Find your pads. Press A. Press A, and suddenly... What? What is... What? What? What's this? Stand on your pad or near a swap cloud and press A to swap. To rejoin, simply touch each other. No one's seen it before. Kazooie. Kazooie, we're free! She's so we're free! Fast. Goodbye, Banjo! Thanks so for nothing! 
reaction so fast when she's not carrying a bear on her back? Thanks for nothing. We're getting out of here. We're gonna live. We're gonna live our life. We're gonna go be mean to whoever we want. We can just do I'm whatever go, we want. I'm gonna oh. go fucking work with with Grunty. Don't leave me in this world alone, Kazooie. Oh no. Okay, we're stuck in here. Kazooie is very, very fast and can and uh, can still do the flat. Wait. She's she's supposed to be able to do the flat flip jump here. You are correct. Oh, wait. Oh, no, I remember. You have to relearn the move as yeah. Kazooie. Uh, doesn't have any attacks besides eggs. Can They're still defend... Fun. Can Stop grenades. She can still defend herself pre pretty good, but without ba without Banjo's counterweight, she can't really do any attacks yet. Oh, our health is halved. Yeah, health is halved, and you also, like, you also, like, lose one health when you split up. But... That's fine. Don't worry about it. That makes sense. Banjo, on the other hand, uh, backpack is empty. Can't do anything with that. Uh, can't punch. Paws can't are punch. too soft. Can do this. Can like almost jump as high as he could with the flat flip. Currently, kind of useless though. Yeah, Banjo. Like, uh... Cause he's got some use, Banjo. What have you got going for ya? Nothing. There's nothing that one can do. I feel like punching... Do. Punching should be one thing a bear could do. It should be. Can't even roll. Can't yeah. even roll without Kazooie's help anymore. Even though he could back in the day. But don't worry about it. He's too out of shape. Banjo's gonna explore a little by himself. He needs to learn some independence. Kazooie can't climb ladders. She's got wings, not hands. Okay, I suppose that's one thing that she's got going for her. Can't seem to get any higher up here, though. Well, hey, Jinja. <laughs> Ow. Fuck. Uh. Can you can you get up here, Banjo? No. Useless. <laughs> Crazy Castle Stockade. <gasps> Here's a Jinjo we can get. What? What? Minjo? Arch enemy of the Jinjos! Ah! Run away! Oh no! <laughs> Evil Jinjo. The Minjos. They look exactly like them. They say help! Dicks. Does this count as a mimic? I would say. Guess. That. Are they Minjos because they're mimic Jinjos? That would be. Cool. I hope so, because I mean it's a British game dev. They're kind of skirting the lines with some words there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a little bit. That's fair. Uh. No, so, I mean. Let's just is... say it stands for mimic Jinjo. Ah. I always assumed it was mean Jinjo. Maybe it's mean Jinjo. Help me! Help me! Pack whack. Pack whack. Press B. And you can just swing your backpack at people. Get fucked, Banjo. Yeah, Banjo can just hurl his backpack at people now as an attack. It also works as a slightly worse uh, helicopter move. Cool. Just, you can stay in the sky just a little bit longer. Yeah. Apparently, some versions of Banjo Tui add sharp teeth to the ninjas to tell them apart. That's cool. Kazooie, get back over here. I need your help. That is the most, like, sequel move I've seen so far. <laughs> also, there's a cut model of a Minjo Ow. that is buff. Ow! Yeah. Mm. Unacceptable. I don't want to see a buff Minjo. Too bad. Oh. Just a bottles bonus on, on that body. <laughs> Please don't bottles bonus any bodies. Anyone watching this? I, you can't see oh. what I just posted in our Discord, but uh, go I'm, look. Oh, ah, ah, ah. oh no, okay, I'm back to playing the video game instead. 
It's on the Banjo Kazooie wiki. This little. This little bouncy house castle. We need to. We need to pump it up. We need to pump it up, baby. Give me this. Oh, alright, I'll get it on the way out. Whatever. Hey, you. Hey, you. Hey, you. Fuck off. Ow, I hurt myself. <laughs> Kazooie is going to need a better way to protect herself. You could just also use other eggs. That's true. Uh, this is a swap cloud. You can just press A on it and switch over back to Banjo anytime you want. The dealing with puzzles button. Pretty much. <laughs> buzz, buzz, buzz. Buzzy, buzzy, buzz. The A stands for action. Now we have both pressed the button, and the Pump Master 2 is ready to pump up the jams. Yellow and red is an odd color scheme like that. It's because it was color scheme. It looks... It's McDonald's. <laughs> A little bit, yeah. Let's get. I feel like it's pretty. I feel like real bounce houses will do that, though. Probably with a blue as well. Let's get together, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's the thing. It's not that there's that it's red and yellow. It's that it's only red and yellow. Ring the bell requires three different strikes. I don't know what that means, but okay. Value siege. It's just telling you how to ring the bell of awakening. Not again. Mm. There are two- there are three bells of awakening. Oh no, I can't imagine how- Just how much longer Dark Souls would be if there were three- The crestfallen jam jars. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be sad. I'm the best. Follow me. Let's take a look at... Bottles is Oscar of Astora. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Is that, a, is that a joke about being dead? I have not played enough of Dark Souls. That is a joke about dying almost immediately. It's the first guy you meet who is dead. Yeah, he's the guy who gives you the flask. We actual bounce house physics a little bit. If you had a buddy in here, would they bounce you and you go higher? And you're like, ah, it's a okay. highly skilled game which requires airborne egg abilities. You seem to have none. Fine. Get out of here. Why are you building games for us? <laughs> They're for me. <laughs> I have highly, I have highly skilled airborne abilities. Yeah. I'm the best. Where do you think oh, I said the, uh, the labels on the pads. Who says that you have to be a bird to be able to shoot eggs? Not I. Ah. Kazooie can do a game, though. Welcome to the Hoop Hurry Challenge! 60 seconds, score 30 points. Sure, tell me the rules. We're gonna be seeing a lot of this, uh, this color coding. Blue is worth three, green is worth two, red is worth one. That's gonna be a color coding that we'll be seeing a lot in this game. A lot of mini games, just kind of about doing things of various colors. Ah! Wee! Wee! You are almost uncontrollably fast with the Kazooie is ridiculously fast on her own. She's like a frickin' ostrich. What was the goal? 30 points? 30 yep. points in 60 on seconds. You are... You are on your way. And that's... Does yep. this game have a harder version? Uh, possibly. I think you might get a, like, Cheeto page or something if you can get even better. So I'm going for, like, 60 if I can. 
If you not, you have to compete against Okay. You're getting tunnel vision on the good points and losing all of the points. Forty-nine. You can't have scored enough points to win my Hoop Hurry prize. That's my new light novel. That's my new light novel I'm working on. You can't have scored enough points to win my Hoop Hurry prize. One day I'll score enough points. Do you want to play again? No, I'm good. It's not saying that I can get a Cheeto page for winning more, so I'm not. I'm going to assume that I don't. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We're good. We are good. Oh! Sorry about that. No! I didn't want to! Oh. Can, can I leave? Yes, I can. Okay. Thank God! Need to stop trying pl trying to play the game while I'm looking at <laughs> the walkthrough. Oh, Banjo, we can't do anything else here yet, but we'll come back later. Oh wait, we do we do need to collect the prize, and you can't uh, you can't spring jump high enough to get on top of this thing as just Banjo, as as Banjo and Kazooie together. So we need to... Certainly not as just banjo. Not at all. Ah, oh, you motherfucker. Uh. Yeah, that goes way higher with Kazooie. Don't you get to the to the like roof and then just bat jump up here? Eh, I guess. Whatever. It was I wanted to show that off. Oh, you came dangerously close to leaving the level boundaries there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure there's invisible walls or something there. Don't worry about it. I that. wouldn't be sure of that. <laughs> Listen, this is one of the... Well... This is a Donkey Kong 64. Rare Ed time to work on this one. <laughs> it's More it's not a matter of time so much as... If, if you just think someone can't do something, you don't put things in place to stop them from doing it. Cactus of Strength! Ring the bell to win a top prize! Oh, Alright. Takes three different strikes. There's one. Got I have it. the drill. Gotta do one more. What could it possibly. No. How about. There you go! I don't know if that's a strike. Listen, whatever works. Whatever gets us the jiggy. Does the cactus hurt us if we touch it? Let's find out. Nope. Impressive. Lame. Should. That's uh, because it's not a. Well, you know, I don't. I can't decide which would make more sense because it's like. The safety code violation, you know? They gotta yeah. have as many safety code violations as possible. It takes, like, effort to keep something sharp, though. Yeah, it's just like a fake cactus, so it makes a certain amount of sense that it doesn't hurt you. Are you a real But also, ginger? this is, like... That ginger is very bright. Who are you working ah, for? This is too close! Who are you working for? Can Your I trust you? Your eyes are so clouded! <laughs> Can I trust you? I just need to know. If you're a ninja, you have to tell me. It's the law. The secret is that all gingers have stigmatism. <laughs> That's, that's the one where your eyes are clouded, right? Uh, cataracts. maybe? I don't know. I think you're thinking of cataracts. I think I was thinking of Stigmatism is yes. like when when you see light in a weird way. Yeah. yeah. Ah! That's all like that your eye like, was, like, twitched or something. These guys yeah. are, are a little harder to, like, bait than the guys in the in the first game. They pop out a little bit quicker. I don't like Banjo's grunting. It's not great. It doesn't feel good to listen to. And of course, Wumba's in cow Cowboy Land because... Ugh. Because association. 
because associations. We have a Globo for you. You just- right this is your Globo! Here. <laughs> Take you just couldn't be asked to catch it. You had- you had a Globo in your- in your room. Is- is, is this good? Is this what you want? I don't know. Is this what you want, Words? Oh boy. I can assure you it isn't. And you know it's not. We're a van. It's actually cute. Armored car? We are an armored car full of money. I like this one. I like that you're wearing car pants. Yeah. If a car wore pants. If a car wore pants, would it wear it like this? <laughs> What's the problem, Lizzie? Getting told there's no bonuses. And this looks like one heck of a bonus. <laughs> Where it's a, I feel like I feel like the washing machine one in the original game was like oh, was a thing of beauty at the time, and now you're reacting like it wasn't. What is in there? In the in what is inside of the car? Money. Oh, uh, coins. Lots of money. One does it. Where does up his their insights go? It's the... magic. Oh oh oh! It's magic, you know. You never believe it's not so. <laughs> so the van can get to places by honking its horn, and can also uh, pay money to start up rides. Just gotta find him. Hello. Doing okay? Mom says I'm not allowed to talk to cars. Uh, where am I? Back! Please manage your camera. Here we go. We need to find the places to go. We can't truly get this party started until um, the until we have actually gotten the things to start working. And to get things to work, ah. you're gonna be stuck in the fence there. There we go. Pay here. Here's some furnace of the inferno. Just shitting those coins out. You gotta just put a token in and get it started. We got our little Chuck E. Cheese tokens all up in here to start up various rides. The the door opens and closes automatically, you know, just for that extra safety hazard. Yeah, touch. just in case you decide to keep your limbs in just a little bit too long. The haunted cavern. Teeth. Teeth. Many, many teeth. Oh. That did not actually prevent you from going right up the edge, huh? These things... These actually hurt you if you touch them. Unlike the cactus. Ah. The Warning. The management accepts no responsibility for soiled underwear as a result of viewing the Cave of Horrors exhibits. You don't wear underwear. Where they possibly be? Or a car. We are a car, it's true. You don't know that there's no underwear under the car pants. Whoa. Damn, you're right. I'm a car. <laughs> Chill. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that's the voice you would expect to a car. Uh, no, we, show, here. You know? we can come back here later. <laughs> Watch Tales of Harbor every other Friday. <laughs> I don't understand the connection. I don't understand the reference. What are you talking about? Never heard of it. This is Tales of Witchy World. Mitchy Merled. <laughs> I am Merled Mitchy. 
Can we, can we just drive? We seem to be invincible and do all of the damage in the world. Can we just drive into the slot machine? Let's find out. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh. oh. And it had a ticket. Good to know. Well, yes, that's where those are. Hey, you. And you too. It's, there's something weirdly visceral about just going GTA on if you put it with a van. <laughs> a little bit. In a, on the N64. A van with eyes, no less. The pop pod sound is very good, too. The is very good. I believe there's somewhere I need to pay for here, too. Looking for the kids? You might find them in the Inferno, Star Spinner, Crazy Castle, or the Dodgems. What are you- wait! That's who set, four. Who set up this sign? Is this a ransom note for- We have your children, Mrs. Boggy. Cham Jar is, is helpful, but general. he's not helpful enough. Is it in that building that's already open? It might be. <laughs> I know there's more places to pay than just one. I'm not making the same mistake again. <laughs> I'm not going to, like, do one or two different different places and then decide, yeah, that's enough. I'm not going to go back and transform into this van twice. Mijo? Mijo. He <laughs> fucking ran over that Mijo! He started just going and then immediately. I swear that there's a place to pay. I just need to find it. Let's see. I feel like the, the rats wear different headgear depending on which part of the place they're working. Yeah, it's real good. <laughs> Another little spot here. Honk honk. Okay, nice ginger. Good. It's not like a <laughs> ninja would have done very well. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's run over the rest of these guys. Get their tickets. Give me your tickets. I need your tickets. Oh, you didn't have a ticket. I think we already killed that one. I think so. Yeah, there we go. I can't seem to find any more places to pay at this moment, so we might have to come back later if we find some spots. Apparently there are two. There are two. What am I thinking of? Oh! Oh, I know what, I know what, I know where the other one is, but we do have to, we do have to open it first. Unfortunately. Wait, can I get up? Can I open it up here? Oh no, I know what I need to do. I remember. I remember everything. That's a lot of stuff. Yeah. I just suddenly had a sudden moment of clarity where I remembered every single moment of my life, and now I am an enlightened being. If a hacker takes the van to a location with water, the van will swim as if it's banjo. This That's is not cool. possible in normal gameplay. So yeah, we've got a cowboy land, a space land, and a hell land. All of all of the best, all of the hell best land, theme park attractions. Hell land, hell land. <laughs> We're gonna go there. Don't you worry. What's in hell land? Hell. I. Hmm. <laughs> I mean, like, what's not clicking? <laughs> it's hell land. What if you died and went to hell, and everybody called it Hellland? I'd kinda be upset, I think. <laughs> Welcome to Hellland, <laughs> says Satan. 
Am I the attraction or the consumer? <laughs> you know what you are. I am quite attractive. It's true. Boom. Ow. So we have our tickets. But why not why not save the big show for last? You know, it's the big show. Yeah. Ooh, the dive of death. I wanna take the dive of death. Nah. <laughs> How do I climb up? Dive of death. Dive of death. It is perpetually nighttime in Witchy World. Well, it certainly is when we've climbed past the atmosphere. Yeah. Hmm. This doesn't seem particularly safe. What happened to this? What happened to this board? Oh. Uh, it was designed like this. Fortunately, uh, with the grip grab, you don't really need to worry about that. You, you think part of this fell right? No, this is just the design. Of course, this this is this is a <laughs> theme park designed to be as deadly as possible. It's not even cutting costs. It's just oof. I I don't know. I don't see the fucking <laughs> zip line that gets to seventy miles per hour. <laughs> oh, that's later. Nobody's built a water slide with a loop in it. All I'm saying, Groton, is that you should hire goons if you want deadly architecture. <laughs> Grunty has goons. <laughs> Not what you, enough, apparently. What do you call those guys? All of those guys who are running around attacking yeah. us. And the the rhino with the the sniffly nose. <laughs> He's just a sick boy. Yeah. I think there are ghosts chasing after us, but we never get a good look at them. If you walk into the teeth, you take damage. I'm gonna skip the House of Horrors real fast, because there's more over here to get. We got us uh -oh. uh... eh? No? Is this not? The there other we side go. Of the other side. Yeah. The side that looks less like it's grip grabbable. Makes sense to me. Uh -huh. On the other side, you would have had to crawl past the fire to continue on. Yeah, that's fair. Speaking of fire... Ah! Oh, that was... It's fine. We're okay. Ah! Ah! <laughs> the ghosts are like a mixed bag because they're also lighting the way. A little bit. Not anymore! <laughs> Alright, let's visit the House of Horrors properly this time. <laughs> Ancient bearded camel, mighty evil dinosaur, and weird killer alien. And also a bunch of creepy masks. Presumably of the things. Ancient bearded camel? Hey, I know you! Nah, I'm bearded. <laughs> Don't you hate us? <laughs> it's on my way to the lava world, got captured. Haven't we ruined your life? Yeah. Yeah. Jesus Christ, Kazooie. Jesus Christ, Kazooie. Let's help the guy out, for Christ's sake. <laughs> Off to the lava world! Go, go, go! We'll never find you. Watch out with the teeth. Just... <laughs> Is your fortune a secret? Find out at Madame Grunty's. What's the mighty evil dinosaur? Monstrosity. What's your deal? Wow, Banjo. Haven't you ever heard of prison abolition? No one in cages is evil. 
No such thing as an evil dinosaur. Let's go. Let's free you too. Except for, I, I can think of some evil dinosaurs, but I've never this met an evil dinosaur in my life. This one's so like pink and it's such a big eye. It's got to be good. This one's an adorable little guy. Let's look at him. Hi. You're you're a sweetie. Not leaving until the train comes in, though. Mm. Weird killer alien. Yay! Yay! Well, I, the other ones. I, forgot, I, forgot I was whispering. I should have been an evil Jinjo to live up to the, the label. Alien. What was that you said, words? When people were saying Jinjo for the other one earlier, I was whispering it. Oh. <laughs> probably didn't pick up. I realize that now. It's fine. <laughs> you say it all the time, so it's always going to get picked up a little bit. Oh boy, these teeth. These teeth. These teeth don't have a back. They are just... They are just something. They're just a couple of sprites. They're, They're just very sharp... They're just very sharp cardboard stands. <laughs> yeah. Over on this other side, we will find... Ah! The train station. All food must be consumed in the theme park. All right, well, we're not leaving. We're not leaving the, the, the place. We're just giving it to this guy. I believe this is uh, Magi? No, this is Soggy. Or possibly Groggy. I don't know. He wants a burger. Please enjoy a burger from us. He, that last burger was a little too much. He, it's probably the food poisoning. Probably a little bit. Can we pick you up? No, it doesn't look like it. We'll figure something out for you, kid. Don't, don't you worry. Uh, you put him in the back of your truck. <laughs> What'd you say? <laughs> Uh, does that take up our fries too, or do you No, just fries? the burger. I'm trying to remember if I can blow these up. Nope, cannot. You should probably pick up more grenade eggs. Pretty soon, yeah. The... The train can't come in until we actually open up the station. So we need to find a switch that will open up the train station before we can help that dinosaur any further. We'll just leave. <laughs> we'll just Watch leave it. Groggy here to his noises. Let's check out the real attraction. Let's go to hell. Hell, 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 hell. Ow! The teeth hurt you. Ow! Twice. Okay, yeah, that is Groggy. That's Groggy. All right, that's what I thought. I was right. I'm very smart. The Inferno. I mean, Groggy was the last one you said. Shh. Alright, there's a van door here. We'll remember that later. This... None of these attractions are very good. They're all just kind of dismal. It's a witch theme park that hurts you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the least they could do is make it, like, fun. What? That's true. Like, compared to Grunty's Furnace Fun from the first game, which was also, you know, a game designed uh, to kill you. Apparently this <laughs> These are all level... Kind of bummers. Apparently this level was meant to be in the first game. It was, it's true. It was cut for time. 
I'd be so disappointed in Gretzky if this was fun. <laughs> <laughs> I demand misery from Grintilda. I... Well, How it's... Dare you? Your evil oh! The second you get off, that spring... That spring pad just explodes. Gonna need to split up for that. However... The park to be fun for us. I just need to have a... Have some... A little bit more style. Yeah, sure. it have some word of mouth about it. it. It's fine if it kills us. It just has to be interesting when it kills us. Yeah. <laughs> it's not that. Okay, I think I get it. It's just kind of a depressing place to be. Like, oh. existentially depressing. <laughs> Mumbo has oh, revamped, revamped his skull a little bit for this area. Thank you. It's pretty good, I think. What are you doing in here? Get out! Yeah. Oh. Oh. Mom, ah. I think that's enough funny cones to get another help. Sure is. Mumbo, 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 mumbo. Hello. I got Globo for you. We got a Globo, yay! I, I always found it interesting that Humba always specifies that she needs Globos. But Mumbo just says he needs a magic creature. Like, could you just throw a Jinjo into his bag and he'd be fine with it? <laughs> he'd be like, yeah, I'll use this Jinjo for, for my for my dark rituals. It'll be fine. What if it doesn't even have to be magic? What if you just, you just throw it and he's like, yeah, sure, whatever. <laughs> I'll do it. <laughs> yeah. He's hungry and needs something for his stew. Mumbo doesn't strike me as someone who's particularly picky about... <laughs> Like what? What ingredients he uses? All right. No reason to be picky. It's all magic, <laughs> baby. Let's get this fucking place started. The real magic is inside Mumble all along. Yeah. See, he's doing it. That's right. <laughs> the real magic man. The real magic man. You're talking quiet again? Nah, I'm just a magic man. Just a magic man. Like, yeah, what? It's funny, magic man. <laughs> Thank you. Here's a word this. Owie. Let's get. Let's get Mumbo. Let's get this party started. Let's get the real stuff started. In here. Let's get this dang. Dang theme park into working order with the power of power. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Turn on all this all this crap. Strike it with lightning. That'll make it work. The Dodgen Dome is now in working condition. Oh no, under the globe I just fell out dead. <laughs> it's true. Every time you use magic, it kills a globo. Huh. That's the price you gotta pay. The magic man. Price you gotta pay to be a magic man. One of It's magic. just like uh, when you perform a trick with doves or rabbits. Yeah. Oh yeah. god. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> One opportunity. Wumba's magic is renewable. <laughs> Are you I sure? Mean, it's, it still sacrifices the Globo, but you can keep using it. <laughs> the Globo <laughs> still dies. <laughs> the Saucer of Peril shall now be powered as well. So if the Globo already fell out of the bag, what what's happening now with... I'm curious if the Globo is going to fall out in this cutscene. I don't think it does. I think it only ever does the first time you use the power. Residual magics. Ah, there you go. Nope, nope, there it goes. 
No. Maybe it's just like a piece of the Jinjo. You mean Globo? Globo. Globo, Jinjo, Mumbo. Jumbo. Jumbo. Humbo, Wumbo. It's all Lumbos and Glumbos and Fumbos. There's only one Glumbo. Oh wait, the other one was also in Space Camp. Gotta power everything. Have any of y'all ever actually been to Space Camp? No. 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 I always no. wanted I don't to. Know if space Camp is real. I always wanted to because I thought that it was like you'd actually get to go to space, but I'm pretty sure it's just like you do like astronaut type things, but on Earth. Right. Yeah. yeah. I, I've always <laughs> seen Space Camp in like TV shows and stuff, but I've never actually heard or met anyone who has ever been to space camp ever once. Yeah, I, I think it's entirely a thing that's on, like, TV. I bet there was a space camp at some point. Or who, like, how would it be such a big thing? Enough so people big... went to or heard about space camp in the past that they yeah, decided like... to just start doing space camp in shows. It's like everybody who made TV in like the '90s, like when they were younger. We, I went to space camp, or I really wanted to go to space camp, and I'm living out my fantasies. Maybe big space camp was just way into like giving out, uh, you know, tickets or slots on kids' game shows to get the name out there. It's apparently in Alabama. There's a space camp in Alabama. Is it the only space, space camp? camp Alabama. Yes! Wait. Space camp is the name of the camp. Wait, it's There's one really? space camp? Yes! <laughs> but what? <laughs> so wait, am I, am I right? Did everybody go to the space camp? More than 900,000 campers have graduated since 1982, including what? several who became astronauts. What? <laughs> Do you want to Things they only tell rich people about. Oh my god, I thought it Oh, was... okay, no, hold on, hold on. Okay. There's, there's, there's also Space Camp Florida and Space Camp California. It's a franchise? Oh, uh, hold on. There's not, there's no longer those. They both closed in 2002 because no one went to them. <laughs> <laughs> what if Space yeah, feel... What if Space Camp is just the name of, like, a, of, like, towns... What if they're I, just towns called Space Camp? I... They might be. I don't know. I've never been. <laughs> Welcome to Space Think Camp. Trick tourists. Welcome to Space Camp, Alabama. We don't have anything to do with space. It's operated by the U.S. Space and Rocket <laughs> Center, which is operated by the government of Alabama. Uh, hmm. That makes sense. The... Uh, why yeah, Alabama? The whole Gulf Coast was way... was all about the space stuff. Uh, I, I guess that makes sense. They're not that far from... It's Texas. it's it's because of Marshall Space Flight Center, which is uh, a NASA thing. I'm trying... Oh, right. Hell. It, it is the largest NASA thing, in fact. Where's Hell Camp? I want to go to Hell Camp. I don't think you do. Oh, no, wait. Yeah, now that I'm thinking about it. <laughs> Probably... Probably run by, yeah. Never mind. It, though I've now this, what was it? Was the, it a King of the Hill episode? Yeah, they where, had one of those. They had a hell houses? camp, and we're just, like, it was a scarum, scarum straight hell camp thing. Yeah. I went to a Christian Science camp, and they made us do skits at the end about how much nature shows the love of Jesus. Oh. Tell me about the skits. I mean, I love nature. I... I honestly can't remember. I think it might have involved <laughs> banana slugs because those were like a big thing at the camp. What? Were they? Like, <gasps> were there like? Were there like a lot of banana slugs at the camp, or was it like that? Kirk, yes. Or was it like that Kirk Cameron thing about how bananas prove God's existence? <laughs> because I, I wish it was the Kirk Cameron thing. <laughs> but, but no, it was about it was about the banana. Like there are these yellow slugs that love jesus are around this area of california and if you 
kiss them or lick them, it makes your tongue numb. Yeah. I did That's poison. And it's slugged throughout the That's of poison is what that is. And that proves that Jesus loves you. <laughs> <laughs> the proof is right there. Your tongue turns numb. And from love? From Jesus' it protects, love. Protects Cause... the slug from raccoons, and that shows that Jesus has a plan for everyone. Yeah, and it protects you from continuing to eat the slug. What about all the slugs that had, didn't have it until they evolved it? I, it no. was part of God's plan. It was part of God's plan that they would eventually Also, evolve. evolution is a lie. Haven't you seen the Grand Canyon? Tell me no. why the Grand Canyon I, proves. I, I, I cannot remember. That was one of the... Let's climb the Tower of Terror. Many speeches we heard there. I think it's like, if it was so old, it would have We're already been dissolved by the river. What? What? No. How? What? No! It's- What? We're fine. <laughs> the river doesn't grow the canyon! If Jesus- If- If Jesus loved Kazooie, she would have lived. Yeah, she would have- <laughs> I guess- I- What? <laughs> but that's why she's in hell. I think I think the people behind Space Camp might have been behind that fucking Christian camp. What the fuck? I shouldn't that that was probably the case. <laughs> Man. Now these fireball guys are super nice. They're just like Now he they got like Do you actually need the running shoes for this? I don't think you do. It's just easier a little bit. Is it easier? Is it easier? A little bit. It's faster, but it seems like it just throws you into the enemy to oh, die. No. Oh, close. <laughs> no, it's okay, fine. So, you, so you have to dodge at least three of them. <laughs> yeah. I guess if you're going if you're going up without the shoes, you have to dodge more of them. That's the There's idea, basically. For failure. Here we go. This time for sure. This time without fail. This time. With the love of Jesus. I... Ow. I will never forget my math teacher I, who... I will always, never trust Jesus again. There. Always proclaimed, we have to turn our, in our project without fail. In that exact, like, phrasing. Ow. Because, <laughs> cause I, I always felt like... <laughs> there was a, a dire state of need for this homework. <laughs> okay, know. can you, like, jump off the side and flap back on around them? I can try. I'm gonna try without the... I'm gonna try without the things. Because you Don't. can't flap when you have the... when you have the boots on. There are so many movies about Space Camp. <laughs> are you looking up Space Camp movies right now? <laughs> It's just part of this Wikipedia page! an article somewhere in here about, like, how Space Camp became a thing and it just wasn't anymore ever. Like, it, it's- I, I like, really like, feel like- Like, get Vice or someone and look at that. I really think Peel's, like, onto something. I think, like, Space Camp made a big push, like, in the 70s, 80s or something like that. It, uh, it, it was created in 82, so... Oh, 80s, okay. So, then, after, afterwards... There was a movie called Space Camp in 86, and a drama in 89 about it. Where are they it. coming from? Where are you guys coming from? A drama? From? Beyond the Stars, <laughs> a drama about a teenager played by Christian Slater, who befriends a gruff former astronaut played by Martin Sheen. Kazooie's feet become really big when right before she explodes up. Well, that's just a bonus. That's just a little. That's just a little mini bonus for you. A little mini bonus that you get to just keep in your pocket whenever you need it. Why? What do they fill up with? Bonus. Gross. <laughs> Awful. The worst thing. Get it out of here. 100% pure strain bonus. 